dropping in. I was making my way into the pool room and kind of fighting with some cords and things and such. And uh, had a tiny avalanche, but nothing serious, just mostly a, an empty box, or a mostly empty box, with some um, uh, extra shielding for 64 or 128 or whatever. Anyway, nothing terrible. And anyway, as I was moving things, I found a couple of 128Ds, and this here is an Amiga 1000. And it is quite lovely. I have not done anything to it since I found it. No magic eraser, no anything. At this second, I'm not sure where my kickstart and workbench disks are. But I've hooked it up to this monitor because, of course, the Amiga 1000 has a color output It does. The 500 and 2000 have a black and white output, but you can get an adapter that makes it color. I don't understand that. I don't know why. If they had color on this, why they just couldn't, I guess maybe, so they could sell an adapter that looked kind of like a modem that stuck out the back and made the machine more unruly to deal with. Especially the, uh, the 500. The 2000, you know, if you had it sitting somewhere, you were used to having lots of cables and things and stuff. But mind you, if you had a 2000 and you were really serious, you had other monitors. So you didn't need to worry about the composite output. Anyway, I've not done anything to this. I haven't really looked. Um, oh yes, power switch over here. I'm going to turn it on. And see, I'm hoping I have everything as it should be. It comes on. Oh, things are happening. I believe I will have to make an adjustment on the monitor. So it flashed the way I should think. I hear the... Oh, something is happening. I hear the disk drive. And it is asking for kickstart. Now, I'm suspecting when I was cleaning that I tweaked that button. adjustment dial. So there we have Kickstart. And it is clicking away. I did a video a while ago saying that basically if you come upon a machine like this and you don't have a monitor to test it, if you happen to have with you Kickstart and Workbench, you should be able to tell that the machine is functioning just from the sound of the discs. And what does that mean? Well, Kickstart is very efficient in the way it is stored and if, you, if I were to pop one in now, if I had one right handy, which I don't, but I should, it would go click, 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 you know, whatever. Not a whole lot of extra, it, it was very efficiently stored on the disk. So it was just like one track to another, to another, to another, to another, boom, up and ask for workbench. Now workbench, it does a whole lot of grinding and grinding and grinding and grinding and grinding, but eventually, it would come up now. If I had my discs handy, I would do that. But I don't. Probably because I still have to clean up my desk over there. But the good thing is, and the reason I really believe that this is working, is if I'm very quiet, you should be able to hear the drive basically out there saying, hey, give me a disc, hey, give me a disc, hey, give me a disc, just like. That gentle clicking. That's what it is. That's what it does. So this, um, this monitor is a 1902. They did have an equivalent Amiga monitor called the 1080. And I think there was even another, I'm sure there was, exactly the same looking from the front that was 2002, but I don't think that hung around long. I don't know why the name, whatever. Eventually came the 1084 and other things. And they were different.
different shapes and they came from different manufacturers. Um, but this, as I say, this was meant for the 128 and the 1080 was meant for the Amiga. But you needed the correct cabling, which I still, I'm sure I have, I just haven't found yet. Anyway, I'm pleased that this is here. It does seem to be working. Um, I really am incredibly short of keyboards for the Amiga 1000, so I can't really hook it up to that. Um, and at the moment, I'm not sure where I said I found a couple of 128Ds. Um, I know I have keyboards. They're in there somewhere. I have not found them yet. So, I can't do much with them as of yet, but I will. And uh, the other thing is, um, uh, this table, which was of course very clean not long ago, is not. It has a way of accumulating things. Look, here's a 1541-2 that works. And I tested it this month. Beautiful. Maybe. Maybe it needs a little cleaning in there. But I'm not going to do that now. Um, yes. What I really need to do, I suppose, is get um, get my surfaces cleared off so I can do things and such. I did recently, under a table just over from here, there was stuff that didn't really need to be there, so I've got that cleared. I guess the main thing is I've got to have a place to put the things after I test them or list them or whatever. So I'm working on that. And right now, maybe I'll just, I'll look for those discs and I'll leave this. I don't need the monitor on to know that it's chugging away here. Maybe I'll just leave this here to burn in. It's probably not been plugged in in a great many years. But it does seem to be happy. So um, oh, one thing I suppose I could do. I'm going to turn it off for a second. No, I, I don't think I can do that. Sorry. I was going to look at the f and see if the extra memory was in there. Oh, yeah, I could do that, I think. Oh, maybe there are screws. Actually, you know what? I could look in here. I can see through here. There, it's in there. But this is a beautiful, beautiful Amiga 1000. It really, like, no discoloration. I haven't cleaned it. It's lovely. Lovely, 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 lovely. So, I guess I will turn it back on so it can do its burning in. I will look for the discs. And I will continue to explore the pool room. I shall maybe later we'll do a little walkabout. Maybe. Possibly. I know there's a lot of stuff in there. And certainly there's an awful lot of disk drives in there. But uh, I believe there's an awful lot of everything in there. Anyway, I hear this gently humming, so I will leave it to it, and I will look for other things to test, and I will endeavor to get my working spaces workable. That is the plan. For example, here is a little bit of packing material. It does not need to be here. Anyway, thank you for coming. We'll continue to explore this. And you know what? I know I have other Amiga 1000s. I don't think they're as lovely as this. But I know I have them. So. Maybe if I'm doing Amiga 1000s, I should gather them. Maybe. Possibly. Alright. Enough for now. Thank you. 
Stay tuned. More exciting videos to come as I explore the basement, the pool room, and anywhere else that I might happen to find. Oh, uh, haven't even been in the garage lately. Haven't been there. Gotta get there. But not today. Alright, until we meet again. Bye for now. That's a good beat.